perpetrator scourge facing America from within. The president takes the opioid crisis very seriously. You know, I really like those films that look at something from multiple viewpoints. And I think that you can get, uh, you know, with a complex topic like opioids, you can really create a multifaceted thriller where, you know, if you were into one thing, you wouldn't really be able to explore all of the elements of it in the depth that a complex subject requires. So, and I think you also get a kind of propulsiveness of cinema by moving between these different stories. How do they relate to each other? How do they inform each other? That's kind of a dance you do in the script and then when you make Make the film in the editing plus you get to work with so many wonderful actors um i love actors and i love what this cast brought to the film it would be unpleasant for everyone <laughs> they're gonna come after you but what you're doing now may be the most important thing you ever do well, I did a tremendous amount of research for this film. I hooked up with this uh, undercover uh, narcotics uh, policeman. And so we went to the real places. We saw the pill mills, the illegal doctor's offices. At the same time, I did a bunch of research on the pharmaceutical side. I knew people in the pharmaceutical industry, CEOs. And we went into the labs and learned about how the drug approval process works, how they test things. And we also went and looked at research with investigative reporters of the behavior of drug companies, what they knew and whether or not they had tried to quiet down research that said that these drugs really could get people hooked. You take these elements and then uh, you put them through the through the prism of imagination, kind of expand them, shape them, and try to find the characters and the emotional core of these stories. We can touch you anywhere in the world. We're running out of time. Last chance. 